So we've got four different types of expressions. What we want to do to all of these expressions is we want to complete the square. We want to put it into a form like this, where we have a value for P and a value for Q that we can say this is P and this is Q. Now, as I explained already, we complete the square when we can't use our traditional factorizing, where we have our double brackets and we use our AC or the cheat method that I showed you on how to factorize. This topic usually comes up on a non-calculator paper, but it can come up on a calculator paper as well. Because if it says complete the square, you have to use this process and put it into this bracket form. So I'm going to show you this process and I'm going to do every single question together. All right, so you can actually notice what we do. Step number one, you have to make sure that there is no number other than one in front of the x squared. So the a value has to be one, okay? So can you see on all of them, the a value is one. If it is two, if it's three or whatever, so if you have three x squared or five x squared, then we have to factorize that out and I will show you that later on, okay? So let's begin. So have a look at the first one here. First step is to open up an empty bracket, put a square here and put an X there. Step number two, the sign that you will put here after the X depends on what's given in your question. So in this question, it will be a plus here. When we open up this one, it's going to be a minus of a squared. When we open up this one, it's going to be an X with a plus and a squared. When we do this one, it's going to be x with a plus and a squared. Step number one. Step number two, you take your b value. So you find the b value in every single one of these expressions. So what's the b value here? Four. Yeah, the b value is four. And the b value here is minus two. And what you do with that b value is you put it in here, but you divide by two first. All right, so four divided by two is two. So let's use a different color pen for that. Put two here. Minus two, well, well it's a two. Divide by two, what do you get? A one, you put a one in here. Let's go to this one. What's the B value? 14, divide by two, seven. So you put a seven right there. Let's go to this one. What's the B value? Three, divide by two, you can say 1.5, but keep it as a fraction, 3 over 2. But you can write 1.5 if you want to. The next step, guys, is whatever B value you had in these brackets, you have to take them away by squaring them first and then taking away. You with me? So you're going to take away a 2 squared. Let's put that in a bracket. Yeah? And whatever's there already, that can remain. Okay? That will continue to remain in there. So go on to this one, you have the B value of one, so you're gonna take away, it's nothing to do with this sign by the way, right? It's nothing to do with that sign, it's just take away that B value. So you had a one here, so you're gonna take away a one squared. Mm -hmm. And what was already there? A plus four. So you go to this one now, you're gonna take away a mm -hmm. seven squared. And there was nothing here, was there? So you're gonna leave that blank. What B value are you, going to, are you going to take away here? So 3 over 2 squared. Now this 3 over 2 squared, I'm not going to put a square here, I'm going to have to put it outside because that square will impact on both of those. Alright? And what was already there? Minus 1. Now all you have to do is simplify it and you've got your final position where you want to be. Alright? So let's go to all of them and simplify. So let's see what we get here. So we're going to have this as it is. So we're going to have x plus two squared, and what is two squared? Four, yeah? Two squared is four, so it's gonna be minus four. And then the plus two is already there. Let's simplify this. So we're gonna have x plus two squared, and what's minus four plus two? Minus two. And that, you have now completed the square. Your value for p here is, and your value for Q 
is minus 2 because it's a plus there, right? And it's a minus here, so you're going to say minus 2. Done. Let's go and fix that one now. So, what's 1 squared? 1, so you're going to have x minus 1 minus 1 plus 4, and just do minus 1 plus 4. And what's minus 1 plus 4? 3. It's plus 3. Okay, and that completed the square. Your value for p here, let's just put it in here, your value for p here is going to be 1, but because it's a positive here, and your value for p is a minus, you're going to say minus 1. And your value for q would be 3, and it's a positive, so that's also a positive, so you're just going to say 3. This one now, let's go and fix this, so we had x plus 7 squared, and what's 7 squared? 49. So minus 49, okay? So what's your value for your P here? 7, okay, it's a positive, and that's a positive, so no problem, it's a 7. And your value for Q here is going to be, it's not going to be plus 49 because you've got a minus there, so it's going to be a minus 49, okay? You always look at what form and what um, signs they're using, okay? So if, you're, if you find your one is different, then you have to use that different one, okay? Right, and finally on to this one. So, this one is going to be a little bit more trickier because you've got to deal with this as well, okay? So, let's do that here. So, x plus 3 over 2 squared. Now, the square, as I said earlier, is going to affect the 3 and the 2. So, this is ending up going to be becoming 9 over 4. So, I've done 3 squared and 2 squared individually. So, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is, sorry, 2 squared is 4. All right, and then I take away one. Now, this take away one, remember I said to you earlier that this might appear on a non-calculator paper, it's more likely. If it appears on a calculator paper, then you can just put this into your calculator and you can get your one whole answer. But, let's assume that this appears on a non-calculator paper and prepare you for that. You need to make that one into a fraction, a fraction with the denominator of four. So what is that going to be? A fraction with a denominator of four. If you want to make 1 to any fraction, you can always do 1 over 1, right? But if you want to make it with a denominator of 4, you'll write it as a 4 over, let's just get rid of that, you'll write it as a 4 over 4, because 4 over 4 is still 1. And now you can do this whole thing, so minus 9, minus 4. What's minus 9, minus 4? Minus 13. So this, let's just write it here, is going to be x plus 3 over 2 squared, and then we had minus 13 over 4. So, for this one, our P is going to be 3 over 2, and our Q is going to be minus 13 over 4, because a plus here, remember that? If this was a minus, then we can say just 13 over 4, but because that's a plus and our answer here is a minus, we're going to say minus 13 over 4. Hope you enjoyed that lesson on completing the square where the coefficient of x squared is 1. In the next one, I will show you how to complete the square when the coefficient of x squared is more than 1.